Good evening, welcome to another edition of Sewing the Bourbon. Charlie, we have a question that we are going to try to answer tonight. And that question is, can a small craft distiller from the great state of Georgia make great bourbon that is also affordable? Can't wait to find out. Let's find out. All right, so Charlie, 13th Colony Distillery. The 13th Colony The 13th distillery. Colony, which happens to be, what state is that? Georgia. Georgia. So, 13th Colony is located in Americus, Georgia. Great name, Americus. Americus. You can't get better. Now. You can't get any more Merc. And I don't think we've done a, a Georgia whiskey before. I, I was we? we were just talking about this. We've done many, many states. And this will be our first Georgia. And it just goes to show, show you it's a great time to be a fan of bourbon and to be, more importantly, open-minded because there's some pretty good stuff coming out, not just of Kentucky, but from all over the country. So, Yes, so, and I'm sure if, if you're a bourbon lover, you've probably heard of 13th Colony. It's been pretty hot recently, uh, especially their Double Oak, which is so supposed right to be now. phenomenal. I uh, wasn't able to get my hands on that, but we have the Small Batch Bourbon, yeah, which is... 70% corn, 21% rye, and 9% malted barley. Excellent mash bill. I'm looking forward to it. 95 proof. Perfect. It's aged four to six years. Even which better. Is pretty good for, yeah. you know, uh, a lot of these craft distillers. They Absolutely. Put out some, some younger stuff. That's, that's, that's a pretty good age. Well, well, they've been around since 2009, mm -hmm. and they are the oldest operating distillery in Georgia since Prohibition, which that's pretty cool and pretty crazy because it shows you the bourbon craze. Nobody thought since Prohibition to be like, hey, we should open right. a distillery in Georgia. And it took to 2009 for somebody to be like, we should do that. So, right. At least legally any, anyway, right? Well. <laughs> I'm sure there's a couple moonshiners like, down there in the state of Georgia. More like guidelines. <laughs> yeah. So. so just before we get into this, master distiller is Graham Arthur. He's a trained classical chef and also a Coast Guard vet. Um, this is a family-owned distillery. And why don't you tell them just a little bit more about the distillery and what their goals are? Well, number one, they use as much sourced, locally sourced products as they can, which is always great. And their goal ultimately is to make great bourbon that stays affordable, which- That's in, our big question That's tonight, our right? big question is, there's lots of affordable bourbon that maybe not necessarily be great. And there's a lot of great bourbon that is not necessarily affordable. So. If you check both of those boxes, you're probably yeah. gonna be pretty popular. And so far, this one checks the affordable box, right? $44.99 MSRP. Absolutely. So let's find out. It has an interesting kind of, and this is gonna sound bad, almost a hazy kind of like a copper color. Like it's it's not hazy. Yeah. It's, it's not smoky or anything like that, but it just has a real kind of cool color. Really puts some clean on the glass. I wonder, I don't, my notes here doesn't, don't, doesn't. Doesn't know. I can't speak. My notes here doesn't my know. My notes here don't say whether it's chill filtered or not. So yeah. that may have something to do it with may. A, a hazy effect if it isn't. It does have a good clean to it. It really line. does. Yeah. Classic bourbon nose. Yeah, I classic mean, bourbon nose. Little, just a twinge of ethanol, but fresh pop, neck pour. There's a, my first, I accidentally nosed while you were talking. There was a lot of sweet corn on the first yeah. nosing, but then now I'm getting more of the, the caramel and mm -hmm. like you said, kind of classic bourbon. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's, Let's see if this thing goes out. 13th Colony. You wanna go or you want me to go? I'll, I'll start. All right, you start. So my first impression, and this is first drink of the day, so a little bit, a little hot up front, but it quickly, quickly kind of subsided and then rounded out with the nice caramel notes. Um, not as, it doesn't have, I expected it to kind of have a really sweet corn taste to well, it. Well, 21% rye, so that yeah. sweet corn is kind of getting washed yeah. away by a little, little rye spice. I really like this, you know, kind of high rye classic bourbon. Like you said, a little hot on that first initial mm -hmm. slip, but it's kind of spicy um, on the tongue, but really nice. I get 
like some really deep dark chocolate mm -hmm. kind of on it. Um, a little bit of that kind of sweet corn. It's really just kind of classic bourbon, honestly. I mean, there's nothing crazily overly complex. Obviously, you're not going to get a ton of oak character out of a four right. to six year old blend. Um, but an absolutely drinkable. Yeah, it's got a nice finish. It's it, kind of sticking with me here. It really it's just now starting yeah. to kind of dissipate off off my tongue and off the roof roof yeah. of my mouth. Yeah, it lingers uh, there for a while. But it does have a nice spice to it. That rye comes through really well. Um, I'm gonna go back in here for a second. It's got a really nice mouth feel. It, it's very light, almost effervescent, and, and then kind of swishes around. I, I, that was, you're yeah. reading my mind, that was gonna be what I, the it, first it, thing I said is it's got a, a nice mouth feel. Kind really, of coats your mouth. Yeah, it coats your mouth, but it, it's a really light without being, like, it's hard to describe because we're kind of idiots. It has a mouthfeel that's very light that typically when you drink something like that, it doesn't have any flavor associated with it. This has a very light mouthfeel that has a lot of flavor with it, which is very kind of cool. Unique. Yeah, I, uh, this definitely makes me want to try harder to get my hands on the double oak because I can imagine what that, that finishing might do for this. Yeah. I'm four drinks into this. I really like it. Yeah. I, th I think that's an absolutely solid bottle of bourbon. You know, 45 bucks from a craft distillery. I know a lot of people say $45, that's a lot of money. I can get, you know, a, a bottle of Elijah Craig or a bottle of whatever. Yes, you can. But this is unique because it's from Georgia. It's the first Georgia distillery since Prohibition. And it's pretty darn good. And look at that bottle. Look yeah. at the bottle. The bottle's it's adorable. It's a great bottle. It's a great bottle. Love it. Rate it. I will give that a seven. Seven. Seven out of ten. It's very good. Uh, definitely buyable. Something to have nice. I like a high rye mash bill. That's a seven. That'll hold up in a, in a cocktail. 100%. In an old fashioned. Yeah. 90, 95 nice proof. 95 proof. Yeah. 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 I'll drink it again. I will drink Glenn's bottle. <laughs> Charlie, do we have anything more? Oh, I did want to point out, He's this is out. available in not just Georgia, but in Arkansas, Kentucky, Tennessee, Texas, and West Virginia. And so. it is available on quite a few bourbon online retailers, so check your state's local- you Put away your finger guns, it's gonna hurt somebody with check, this. Check your state's shipping laws for alcohol because you may be able to have it shipped directly to your door. Just like I did. Just like he did. All right, Charlie, tell them what to do. Number one, you gotta subscribe, people. Subscribe, or I'm getting the finger guns out. Pow, pow. You don't want that. You don't want it. Check us out on Facebook, Sewing the Bourbon, Instagram, Sewing the Bourbon, and on TikTok, Whiskey Realtor. And as always, Charlie, what do they need to do? You gotta do two things. You gotta keep your wallets loose and your bone holes tight. Good night, everybody. Peace out. Okay. Michael, you know, this sort of magic just doesn't happen. This is years yeah. of training and experience. And Can an upstart distillery from the great state of Georgia upend the bourbon world? It's not the question. Make great bourbon and keep it affordable. Okay, let's do it again. It was okay. Good You've been God. drunk. Nobody say anything, say anything like, what I just said. like what Glenn just said. Keep it relatively PG-13. Ready, 13th Colony, take 61, action.